Hi, boys and ghouls. If I seem a little annoyed today, it's actually because I have already filmed this video. I wanted to do an unboxing, and I filmed it yesterday. And unfortunately for you guys and for me, the footage decided to not turn out. It kind of corrupted. Now, I don't usually do YouTube. I'm trying to set my phone up. I thought I had it, but I guess I don't. There we go. We're all set. I hope you guys are having a lovely, lovely day. So today we're going to do an unboxing. It's of a mystery box. It's not a mystery to me anymore, sadly, but that is because, again, I tried to film this yesterday. This is pretty much my first time on YouTube, so I'm really nervous, you guys. Bear with me. But today we're going to do an unboxing. It is of a mystery box, and it was absolutely amazing. The shop name is the Checkered Lily Apothecary. It's an Etsy shop, and she also has an Instagram page. I've shopped with her for a long time, and she did mystery bags for Black Friday. So I'm super excited to show you guys what I got. And yeah, so let's see what's in this bag. First of all, it came beautifully packaged. It was packaged better than this. Um, originally, it had a little black bag on it with a couple little samples and little goodies in there. I also have my order in here because I already unboxed it once. Um, we have quite a few products. We're going to start with the sample products that she sent me. I'm going to show you everything first and then we'll go into swatches. So she sent me a couple samples like she always does. The first one is glitter blend number 24. It's called disease of astonishment. That's what it looks like in the little bag. The website is the checkered lily .com. So be sure to check her out because she's absolutely amazing. And then we have another little glitter blend. It's called Ill Angels Only, number 42. And there's that one. Um, let's see, how do we want to do this today? We'll do the thing that I bought next. This is something that I've owned before and I've used it forever. I use it as a glitter liner with a, the Urban Decay Transforming Potion, which sadly they don't make anymore, but there's a million things you can use to turn glitters into eyeliner. So this is the Glitter and Night Child. These are the components they come in. And I will swatch these so you can see them, but I love the little components that they come in. Now onto the stuff that was in the mystery bag. This first thing I'm not going to open. Um, it's a lip balm. We all need lip balm. This one's in Garlanded in Snow, which I think is a super cute name. So there's that. And it is vanilla mint flavored lip balm. So I'm excited to try that. Next thing, let's go with the big thing. This is highlighter, a high, uh, loose powder highlighter. It's in the shade Ruselka. It's H06. It is a shimmery white highlighter. Actually, I think I'm going to end up using this today. My makeup today is actually um, Lunachick Labs Elvira palette. I was just kind of feeling my old school goth self today as I was playing with it. So, yeah. Next thing is an eyeshadow in the shade Caterpillar. This is a greenish, a light green duochrome. And then we have an eyeshadow in the shade Sea of Cortez, which is a very bright blue. These are super, super pigmented, you guys. And then we have, this came as a free gift. This is the Burrows of Evergreen limited edition eyeshadow. This was free with, I think it was a $15 purchase. I don't remember exactly the price, but I'll check into it. This is a glitter mix, and I can't even say this one, and I tried to say it yesterday too. It's El Alacran. Alacrane. We'll check that out, and I will try to get back with you guys. And then we have some lippies. If I remember correctly, this mystery bag was, I want to say... 20 bucks maybe it was very inexpensive and the amount of products i got is just crazy for that price so now we have the lip glosses this one's in el sol we have four of them this one's in la katrina this one is el corazon and this one is la luna I'm going to start by swatching these because these are a lot easier to swatch and get out of the way and off of my skin. 
So the first one is going to be La Katrina. These are lip glosses. They have a very nice doe foot, which I will show you in just a second. I should have done that first. Again, guys, I'm new at this. So there is, let's see, here is the doe foot. Super nice, soft doe foot. And here is La Katrina. It's a really pretty, it's, a, I would say, like a purple with a pink shift. Next one is El Sol, sorry. This one's different for me because I don't usually wear shades like this. This is a peachy gold. It's very, very pretty, but I'm not sure how well it's going to work on me. So there's El Sol. The next one is La Luna, which is probably my favorite just because of how bold it is. This is a beautiful electric blue, which I'm totally obsessed with. That's La Luna. And the last one is El Corazon, which is just an awesome true red. It does have a bluer tone. It's a blue-red, which I actually prefer in my reds. So there is the four lip glosses. And let's see, what do we want to do next? You guys want to do the highlighter? Because highlighter doesn't really show up all that well, but you know. There it is on my finger. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. This is the inside of the component, by the way. It has a nice little... Um, turn sifter in it, which I think is super cool. I haven't seen that before. I'm trying not to blend this out too much, guys. I want to keep it kind of bright. So there is the highlighter in Rasalka. Beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I actually think I'm going to wear that today with this look because I just realized I, I put on finishing powder, but I didn't put on highlighter. And well, I love highlighters, and I love highlighters that glow to the freaking gods, because I'm just weird like that. I'm just using a makeup wipe to get the lip glosses off so we can continue. Um, I do have a glitter glue here. I'm not 100% sure if I am going to use it. Let me grab the eyeshadows next, and we'll do the glitters last. So, again, three eyeshadows. We have the different components. These are a full size. This is more of a sample size. Um, they are all sealed. They have the little pull tab seal in them here. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull those off as we go. Because I did not do it yesterday. Yesterday I pulled the um, component out. I'm trying to get just a little bit here. These are loose shadows, so they can be a little messy. But personally, I don't mind that. I just kind of work a little more careful with them. So this one is going to be Burrows of Evergreen. It is like a Christmas, a limited edition Christmas shade. It is very sparkly and very green, which I love. It's got a bit of a uh, more foresty green color. So there's that, which I think that is going to be beautiful. These blend out super pretty. Like if you want to do just a one color all over kind of thing, these are the shadows for it. Next one is Caterpillar. I don't believe... Yeah, this is standard sizing. This one is not approved for the lips. I actually just noticed that. These have a little screw top, which I quite enjoy. And again, they're all sealed. This one is super cool. This is the easiest way I personally prefer when they have sifters. I like to kind of just take and give it a little shake in order to get the product into the top of it. So I can just tap into it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this one as well on my skin, unfortunately, just because I am somewhat fair. But this is a very pale green color, which I quite like. Actually, the two might go quite nicely together. That's the caterpillar. Yeah, just caterpillar. I'm adding extra words here. And this last one is my favorite of the shadows she sent. This one is called Sea of Cortez, and it is a beautiful, beautiful blue color. Actually, it's 
it would go quite nicely with the um, La Luna lip gloss. And this is a bit of a, uh, does have a different glitter in it. It's got like a goldish glitter in it. So here is, what's this one? I'm sorry. Sea of Cortez. That's what it was. So there is Sea of Cortez swatched. And then we're going to get into the fun part, which is the glitters. I'm going to go ahead. I've got like a cheap little glitter glue here that I am going to quickly lay down on my hand just in case. I haven't had honestly much trouble with her glitters. The cool thing is they are cosmetic grade glitters, not big chunky glitters, which don't get me wrong. I love big chunky glitters and I just ordered a ton of them from one of my other favorite indie brands, which is Apocalyptic Beauty. Did I say Apocalyptic Beauty at the beginning of this? Oh my god, I really hope not. I ordered from both brands for Black Friday. This is the Checkered Lily um, mystery bag, but I do have one coming from Apocalyptic Beauty, so hopefully you guys will want to see that one as well. So I'm putting some glitter glue down. I'm only going to put it right in this area here, and we'll see how it goes if I kind of swatch past that. So I'm only going to put it on half my hand. I think I have... Well, yeah, anyway, you'll see in just a second. Let's go ahead and get these glitters out here. That's the little bell she put on the, the packaging, which I thought was adorable. Again, we're not going to swatch the lip balm, so don't forget that the lip balm is in here. This was the first glitter blend. This is the one I couldn't pronounce, which I, is like, I think, El Acren. This is a sample size, but not like a little sample baggie. This is the sample size you would order from the store. And this one is actually quite surprising to me. When I get my glitters, I usually get darker colors. Um, just because that's what I prefer with my glitters. But this one is absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to make sure I pick up enough. And I am trying to swatch all the way across, both on the glitter glue and on bare skin. I'm not going to try to say the name of this one because I know I'm slaughtering it. So hopefully I can check in with her and see what it's actually. Um, this is the pink glitter that came in the mystery bag and it is right there. Hopefully you guys can see these because when I use the light on my phone and that's what I'm filming with today is my phone. It just kind of bleeds everything out. Actually, we're going to do all the ones I don't know first. So this was one of the sample baggies. It's called Ill Angels Only. And I quite liked this one. These, the way I use them is I take a brush and actually just dip a brush down into the little bag if I don't dump it out into a, um, a like a little pot. I'll just take and slide through the bag. And this isn't working so well without glitter glue. At least this one isn't. The pink one did work a little better. So this one is Ill Angels Only absolutely beautiful. It's a deepened purple color. And then the glitter blend number 24, Disease of Astonishment. All these were the products that came in the um, mystery bag. And like I said, all cosmetic grade. They're not the big chunky glitters, so these are totally fine, at least in my opinion, to put near my eyes. Okay, so this one here is Disease of Astonishment. And then the last one we're going to swatch is the one that I bought because I had it before. This is Night Child. I want to say this came out with one of her Halloween collections a couple years ago. I could be wrong. Um, but I believe that's when it came out. I've had like just a little sample baggie forever because... I just use it as eyeliner. It's absolutely beautiful. But it's just what I use for eyeliner when I do like really black, smoky looks. Look at that. Can you guys see that? That's just a little tap into the pot. Oh God, I love this color. This is a red, 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 red glitter, which is why I love it. It's got a little bit of a silver sparkle in it, and that is Night Child. That's the one I was like, okay, I want the mystery bag, but I really need to own the full size of this. So there is all four of the glitters together. And we'll go ahead 
and wipe these guys so I don't get more glitter transfer. So just to go over it real quick, I will double check the price and I'll put it down in the description box. The mystery bet of the mystery box, I know it was only like $15, $20. It was not expensive and her shipping is very, very reasonable, especially for an Etsy store. So we're gonna go over what was in the mystery bag one last time and then I will get out of here and hope that this video works out. This was the lip balm that was sent. It's a vanilla mint lip balm. They are very smooth, nice lip balms. They have a nice um, shape to them as well. And then for the samples that she sent, which I've never not gotten samples from her. I know that's a double negative, but oh well. Um, we got Disease of Astonishment and Ill Angels Only. Those two. We got in the sample bat, in the um, special that she ran, it was the limited edition eyeshadow. If you had a $15 or more order, we got the Burrows of Evergreen eyeshadow. Um, let me go ahead and tell you guys, this is 1.20 grams. So it's actually a really decent amount for a mini size. And then we got the Caterpillar eyeshadow. These are 1.5 grams. And the Sea of Cortez eyeshadow. And then we got the highlighter. The highlighter is 2.5 grams. I'm dropping stuff. And then we got the glitter mix. This one is 0.50 grams. This was the pink glitter mix. And then we got the four lip glosses. I don't know if I can get them all between my fingers. There we go. The four lip glosses. And these are, let me see if I can find the grams on here. Or milliliters. It's 3.5 milliliters. So all really good size products. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine products plus three sample or special products. And then I also ordered the night tiled glitter, which I had before. So if you guys liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Give me any suggestions or comments and let me know what I can do. I know I need to get a filming set up. This was a kind of spur of the moment thing. It was getting over my nerves and I really wanted to do a video. And because this was a mystery box, I thought it'd be a really cool idea to do this as a first video and get it out there, you know? I hope to see you guys very soon. I love all you boys and girls. Have a wonderful day. Mwah.